Walton Art Center is partnering with the Fayetteville Film Fest to highlight this week as part of Walton Art Center's Artisphere Arts and Nature Festival. And here to tell us about what we can expect from these screenings, we've got the executive director of Fayetteville Film Fest, Cassie Haley, joining us. Thanks for being yeah. here, Cassie. Thank you for having me. Hey. Were you just recognized? You got a big like acting award or something, didn't you? Can we talk about uh, that? Well, I, I was up for. Okay, uh, you were up for, for nominated a, a best actress in, in the Maiden Arkansas Festival. Thank you. That's very cool. Yeah, so thanks. you're a pro as well as being uh, on the board of the film fest. Yeah. Well, yes, I've yeah. been I've been working at film for a while now and yeah. mostly trying to help more of it happen here in our beautiful state. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And there's an opportunity for people to come out and support you. So talk about this uh, this night of screenings that happened this week. Sure, yeah. So the Walton Art Center, as we all know, is the leader of our arts here in, in Northwest Arkansas. Um, they're um, celebrating Artisphere in the month of May. So we have curated a night of films that celebrate um, art and nature and, and our relationship with our environment. So where do you get these films from? So we have been working with film for 15 years. Uh, we're having our 15th film festival this year. Uh, so we have developed some pretty deep relationships with filmmakers all over, not just here in Arkansas. Uh, and so uh, we have access to some of the films that they've submitted in the past or, or some of the projects that they've worked on since the festival that we've been able to just uh, get the rights to be able to show those films. That's nice. cool. Sunshine, do you have any kind of, have you worked in film before? Have you done some things? I feel like back in the day maybe um, you did some hair, some, some style. I, yeah, I've styled some shoots uh, for hair and I've styled some food, weirdly enough, and mm -hmm. clothing. Yeah, um, I've never been, I've never been like on film, right. okay? Well, I mean, today, right now. Yes, right now you kind are. Kind of, yeah. yes, yes. But I know Cassie from way back. We right. went to college together. She's a big deal. <laughs> which which was just a couple a years deal. ago, right? right? Right. I mean, yeah. yeah. Five years maybe? Yeah. Maybe something. A yeah, just like passed. give or take. But, <laughs> but what you're talking about is the fact that you're bringing film here to Northwest Arkansas and giving people like Sunshine another opportunity to explore creativity, right? Which is really cool. Sunshine needs no more opportunities. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sunshine Stop makes it. her own opportunities. Stop makes her own opportunities. It. I'm going to go yes, home with that you. Is, like we do. We want to bring it here and so that our our local artists, our stylists, our crew members, everybody has an opportunity to work sure. and we can retain them here in our state. Yeah, absolutely. When and where is this night of screenings happening? Okay, this Friday night, so tomorrow night, um, we begin at eight o'clock, mm -hmm. come early, we'll have the red carpet out, we'd love to get some photos with our audience members, but uh, we do have, it's a mix, I just wanna mention that real sure, quick. Sure, yeah. There's some documentary styles, there's some narrative styles, and we even have our winner for the best animated film from last year's festival. Oh, cool. Called oh. The Sprayer, which came out of Iran, so it's a beautiful film. Um, but are yeah. there local films as well, or are most of these are, kind of regional, international? These, these are kind of, a, again, a, a, a huge mix. There are two that are local, one that uh, focuses on like the deer hunting scene here in Arkansas, oh, and how it affects um, the, the natural order here in the sure, Ozarks. Yes. Yeah. Um, but then we have some that focus on um, Alaska, Hawaii, and then again, like I said, some are experimental or um, animated or, or narrative and kind of fantasy. So it's a it's, it's beautiful mix. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful night. And speaking of that, before we let you go, I kind of want to tease ahead because I know the dates are already set for the film festival, which yes. is coming up in the fall. Can you yes. fill us in on that and where that's taking place, all sure. those details? It's October 12th through the 14th. I'm sure it will happen again around the Square here in Fayetteville, yeah. um, and we are excited to to host new guests from from outside. But definitely want more local help, and uh, there's opportunities to volunteer. Yeah. You can go to FayettevilleFilmFest.org and fill out a screener application if you really like uh, watching independent film, we could use some help screening. Yeah, absolutely. So, yes, get out there, fill it out, and, and make sure you come to the event tomorrow night if you can. Walton Arts Center there, showcasing films from the Fayetteville Film Fest. Cassie, as always, thank you for joining us. Thank you, guys. Yes, absolutely. Thank we appreciate you. it.